Anzac round is all over, Red Rover. We had a great round of footy. We had some close results, plenty of 1 to 12ers. So will we see the same thing this weekend? We've got some good games of footy before Magic round next week. Let's get into my round 9 NRL tips on a Wednesday. It all kicks off from Points Bet Stadium tomorrow night, Thursday night, when the Sharks take on the Cowboys. Cowboys, they just got the win at home against the Newcastle Knights. Very resilient Newcastle Knights side in that. And the Cowboys, they didn't look great. Um, I thought Tom Dearden and Valentine Home were really, really good. And as for the Sharks, they got a 13-point win over the Dogs, but really the Dogs back into that game a few times. And uh, they, they haven't looked impressive lately. I'm just going to say that the Sharks have been conceding a lot of points. They had a nice win against the Roosters. And look, they are winning game, but they're not winning them convincingly, uh, in my opinion. But they have gone with the same side. Dale Finucane due to be back. Next week, and then Ruben Cotter is named to start. But again, Jake Granville on game day might start in the front row. Um, look, the Sharks have a great record against the Cowboys. The Cowboys got the win in the finals over them last year um, for that qualifying final. There's something about the Cowboys. They're just not playing good footy. I want to tip them here. They're paying $3.50. They're at a great price. I really want to tip them. But I don't have enough confidence. I'm going to tip Cronulla by four. I'm going to go with the Sharks to win 20 points to 16. I think it'll be pretty low scoring. Bit of a grind this one. I'm going to back Jesse Ramian. I think he's been fairly quiet. So I'll go Jesse Ramian. I'm staying away from Talakai for a while now, guy. Back-to-back uh, -back week, he's let me down. But I, I think the Cowboys can cover the line of 10.5. I spoke about line betting last week. And I had a cracker with those lines with a lot of victories being obviously 1-12. to 12, But I'm going to go with the Sharks at home tomorrow night. The next game sees my boys, the Parramatta Eels. Now, unfortunately, guys, I cannot make it to the game on Friday, but we're playing Newcastle Knights at 6 o'clock, an early game. Uh, Bailey Simonson and Regan Campbell-Gillard are out, so our bench is Cartwright goes back to the bench. Matt Dury and Makatoa return. Jermaine Hopgood at lock. Ryan Madison in the second row. Uh, Woodamu Gregg in jersey number 8. Uh, and we've got Sean Russell and Hayes Dunstar. Sean in the centres, Hayes on the wing. So a nice little combination there. And then as for the Newcastle Knights, they have gone with the same team. And Ponga is set to start at 5'8 with Tyson Gamble going back to the bench. But we could see the same side potentially that we saw against the Cowboys where they played some great footy. The Knights, they've been very resilient this year. I had a good look at their draw and they haven't really impressed besides the Warriors they haven't impressed me with their wins I, I actually bought more into it than I thought and thought they were look they were a good chance of winning last week um, as for this game I think it's a danger game they have a good record against the Eels but they don't have the best record at Parramatta Stadium and for that reason I'm going to go Parramatta but I think it will be tight um, look we won the second half against the Broncos that was impressive um, but couldn't get the job done so I think we bounce back here at home. I think it'll be a six-point game. I'm going to go Parramatta to win 24 points to 18. I think we'll win in a, a bit of a high-scoring on this one. And uh, I'm going to go Mike Acevo. I think it's a safe pet. Mike Acevo, first try scorer. You know me, I don't often back a winger. There's a couple here. But uh, Mike Acevo to score first. And the Eels to win by six at home. Next up sees a cracking game. I can't wait for this game of football. Friday night at 8 o'clock, set your alarm because the Broncos at Suncorp are taking on the South Sydney Rabbitoh. Corey Oates, Ezra Mam, and Payne Haas all out for the Broncos. So their bench reads Pakes, Jenston, Hetherington, and Tapau. And Palacia comes into Jersey 8. Thomas Flegler starts in Jersey 8. Jock Madden comes into the 5'8 position and Jesse Arthurs returns to the wing. As for the Bunnies, they look unchanged. Tavita Totola returns from a knee injury and Daniel Suliku for feeder goes to 18th man. Well, they snapped their losing streak against the Penrith Panthers. The South Sydney Rabbitoh got the job done in that match and the Broncos, they're playing some great footy. They uh, played really well in Darwin. They are missing some key components, but... 
if they're the real deal, they're going to win this game. One of these t sides, in my opinion, is going to show that they are a premiership contender. This is a great game. And the Broncos at home on a Friday night are going to get defeated. I'm tipping Souths here. I'm tipping Souths. I can't believe, I can understand that Payne Haas being out, I guess, drifts the betting. I wish we were getting about $2 here for Souths. I hope the market drifts out to the, the, the Rabbits because I'm all over Souths here. I reckon Souths will win again 24 points to 18. I think we'll see the same score on Friday in back to back game. The Rabbitohs by six. I reckon they can beat the Broncos. They've been playing some good footy in the last few weeks. And I am going to back Cameron Murray. Bit of a roughie there. I reckon Cameron Murray is going to cross over for first try. Let's go to the 13th minute. 13th player, Cameron Murray, first try scorer. The Bunnies to beat the Broncos on Friday night. Next up, Saturday, 3 o'clock from Wagga Wagga. It is the Canberra Raiders and the Dolphins. These two sides met at Redcliffe earlier in the year, and the Dolphins got the chocolates. I think the score was 20 to 14. I could be wrong. The Dolphins got the win, though. The Dolphins had the biggest comeback in NRL history. Uh, not rugby league history, but NRL history. Last week, being down 26 to 6 over the Titans and winning that game, 28 to 26 and their energy they're coming off a massive win uh, as for this game kenny bromwich returns to the side anthony milford has been named on the reserve cody nicarima and isaiah katoa remain in the half as for the raiders jack whiten has been named in the six he's obviously signed with the south sydney rabbitohs nick kotrick is out for this one harley smith shields is out and Xavier Savage could be a big in. He's been named in jersey number 20, so he could be a great chance of playing. But look, the Dolphins, they got out of jail against the Raiders earlier in the year. I tipped them, but they were quite lucky to win that game. I thought Jack Whiten would be one of his better games for the year. And Raiders, they're coming off a bye. Um, very scrappy win against the Dragons. Prior to that, they beat the Broncos. Neither team at home here. I reckon a bit of revenge here. I'm going to go Canberra. I think a lot of people will go the Dolphins here. I can understand why, but I think Canberra's going to win this game. I'm going to go Canberra by six, just to get that revenge exactly. This will have plenty of points in it. I'm going to go 28 points to 22. The Raiders by six. Jordan Rapana's back. I'm going to go Jordan Rapana, first try scorer. And I really like Jack Whiten to score a try at any time, $2.50. The Raiders over the Dolphins by six. The next game is going to be a very interesting game because I think Garrick and Trevojevic are slightly injured in this game. Manly Seagulls taking on the Titans. And the Titans, after losing to the Broncos two weeks ago and scoring that many points... And then what they were able to do last week, I think they'll be so disappointed. I think they'll be fired up. Manly are at home and they are undefeated this season at home. Brad Parker and Josh Schuster are out for this one. So in the centres is Ruben Garrick and Christian Tuipolotu returning to the wing. Interesting decision there. Cooper Johns gets the six jersey back. I thought Schuster, just he wasn't great last week. Car Cherry Evans was absolutely carrying that team. And as for the Titans, Aaron Shop has gone to the reserves, and Brian Kelly and Jojo Fafita in the centres for this one. As I said, the Titan, they will be fired up. Manly undefeated at home. Which way to go? Manly didn't play great against the Dragons. The Titans played better. But at home, I think Manly's going to be a little bit too strong. I, I do think this game will go down to the wire. I think a lot of people will tip the Seagull by a big margin here. But I'm still not convinced that they are as good as a team. Remember that they had the draw, so they do have the extra point advantage. And that's why they are so high on the ladder. I'm going to go Manly by two. I'm going to go 24 to 22. I think the Titans can score at least, at least 16 points. If there's a bet for that, I'd be getting on that. But... Uh, yeah, I think Manly can win, and I reckon Cooper Johns warming back into that number six jersey to make it his is going to score the first try. Unfortunately for the Titans fans, I think that they might get their third straight loss. The next game, a lot of people think, will be a bloodbath. Now, this is the Saturday night blockbuster. It is the Penrith Panthers and the West Tigers. What a fight from the West Tigers. 
They almost caught the win over the Sea Eagles. They were favourites in betting if you saw it. I caught up on Manly at $2.27. Not a bad price for the Sea Eagles there. But as for the Panthers, Isaac Targo is out for this one. So Tyrone Peachy has been named in the centres. Their bench is Sonny Luke, Lindsay Smith, Spencer Linu, and Jamin Salmon. And then the bench of the Tigers is Simkin, Offerhand Gowie, Alex Twal, Tommy Talau. David Nofaluma returns to the Tigers. And Brent Naden is back in the centres for this game. Pendant will win this. Look, there won't be the upset. I know there'll be the odd person thinking the Tigers win this game at $7, but Pendant will win this, and Pendant will probably win 13+. plus. But it will probably be a close 13+. plus. They haven't been playing all that great. I'm going to go the Panthers by 16. I'm going to go the Panthers to win 26 points to 10. I think they'll be a bit too good for the Tigers at home. I'm going to back Zach Hosking. He's been in some great form. I'm going to back Zach Hosking to score the first try of the match and the Panthers to win over the Tigers 26 points to 10. The next game is... It feels like it's tough to tip. you got the Warriors against the Roosters. And any day of the week, you would probably think the Roosters win this game. Daniel Tupo is out for this one. Uh, so, Corey Allen returns to the wing. Uh, it looks like Joseph Suwali probably will be doing the goal kicking with Sam Walker out for this one. Once again, he's been named in jersey number 19. But some big outs for the Warriors in their four pack. Tohu Harris, Jazz Tavaga, and Nickel Klockstad. So, their bench of Viliami Viella, Tom Arle, Bailey Sirinen, Freddie Lussick on the bench. Uh, Bunty Afoa comes in for Tohu Harris. Josh Curran moves to lock. Dylan Walker has been named. I believe he could be facing suspension, but I could be wrong about that. The Roosters bench is Drew Hutchison, Angus Crichton, Satili Tupanua, Matt Lodge. Oh, man, this is tough. This is tough. This is over in New Zealand, and the Warriors have not lost this season in New Zealand. The Roosters have been very, very inconsistent. They got out of jail against the Dragons with a Luke Keery field goal. Started the game really well. They have a good record against the Warriors. And they they only just beat them in round two. It was 20 to 12, I think it was, at Allianz. I'm really, really struggling for this tip. I really am. I'm gonna go the Warriors here. I'm gonna go the Warriors. The Warriors were very brave with all their injury to lose to the Storm by eight points. They hung in there. Gritty game, uh, 22 to 24 for quite a while in that game until Harry Grant scored late on. They have come back and shown resilience against teams like the Sharks. Upset, upset alert. The Warriors, 18. The Roosters, 16. Sean Johnson, man, you got to step up this week. He's kicking fifth tackle options. Wasn't the first time this year. Were not great. Warriors. Don't do this to me. Warriors beat the Roosters. Help me get 8 out of 8. But I think that the Roosters will score first. And I'm going to go with Jackson Paulo to score first. The Warriors to upset the Roosters. The final game of the round sees the Dragons at Wynn Stadium against the Bulldogs. And I thought the Bulldogs were very resilient for the odds that they were about $5 against the Cronulla Sharks. And they scored 20 points in that game. So a great performance from them. Now, Kyle Flanagan has been dropped for this game. Oh, okay. Josh Reynolds and Matt Burton have been named in the 5'8 and halfback role. Andrew Davey is out for this one. Their bench is Sutton, Samuel Hughes, Ockhambor, Curtis Morin. Bench of the Dragons is Jaden Hunt, Toby Couchman, who will be kicking himself, ready to put in a big performance. Josh Kerr and Jacob Liddell. Look, the Dragons, man, they came back. 14 is the magic number. If your team is down by 14, you do not lose faith in them. When it was 26 to 12, I said to everyone around me, 14 is the magic number. This game is going to Golden Point. I was very close, but Toby Couchman couldn't get there for Ben Hunt to kick the field goal. That probably would have tied the Anzac Day Classic up. 
as I said, the Bulldogs, very resilient. I think a lot of people will probably tip the Bulldogs, but the Dragons have a great record at Wynn Stadium. They are on a run there. I think that run continues. I'm going to go the Dragons to beat the Bulldogs. 26 points to 16. The Dragons by 10. I could see them winning 13 plus, but I think that resilience of the Bulldogs, much like the Warriors to get back into game, um, could be there on Sunday. I'm going to go Ben Murdoch Masilla, first try scorer. Anytime, Moses Sawley, he was getting into plenty of gaps, ball running, $2.95 for him. That is my tips, guys. As for my best bets, I'm going to go. Well, the multi got up last week. I think it was paying $3.90. I think it was something like that. This week is $5.09. It's a beauty. We're going with the Parramatta Eels to beat the Knights. The Canberra Raiders to beat the Dolphins. The West Tigers plus 26.5 against Penrith. And the Dragons to win at Wynn Stadium. $5.09. As I mentioned, Sully anytime try scorer, 295. The Cowboys plus 10.5. And, and Jack Whiten to score a try. There you go, guys. Technically, the Rabbits and the Warriors for some upsets this round. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Enjoy your footy. And I'll see you guys next time.